Hey there, I'm Mackenzie. I teach third grade in California, and today I'm going to walk you through how to create your own student name tags using Canva for Education. If you're new to my channel, I create videos sharing teacher tips and advice, so I would love for you to click that subscribe button to follow along. And if you are not new here, thank you so much for joining in on today's tutorial. So I thought it would be fun to share just some creative ways on how we can use Canva for Education to create these name tags for your students' desks that really have a touch of your style, but can also be a useful tool for your students. We will be using Canva for Education, which is a design website that's entirely free for educators to create resources for your own classroom. So be sure to sign up and get verified as an educator because then you get access to all these extra resources and graphics and fonts for all of your resources. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to show you three different examples of nameplates that you can make for your students' desks. And I really broke it down into three different levels. So there is simple, medium, and complex. Now I am including timestamps, so at the end of this video, you can go back and revisit whichever one you wanna do for your students. So let's go ahead and start with the simple name tag. So on the Canva website, I'm going to start by clicking create design and then custom size. Now I want to be able to print this on standard printer paper to make it easier, which is eight and a half by 11 inches. So I'm going to make the nameplate 11 by three and a half inches. Just so you know, the simple nameplate includes a border, graphics, and your student's name. I love making these simple ones to put out on the first day of school for students to color. They can still add a touch of their own style, but it still looks cohesive in our classroom. Or if you don't keep name tags out on their desk all year, these are really nice to have them make and then hold on to them and pass them out when there's a substitute. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a border. So I'm going to click elements and search for a rectangle. This is going to pop up in the shape tools. I'll make it transparent and then select the border style. I like the look of the solid line, so I'm just going to adjust the thickness and then drag it to fit the rectangular border around the name tag. And there we go. Now I want to add some type of background. This is completely up to you. You really can search for anything. For now, I think that black and white spotted look is cute. So I'll search polka dots. And look, there are so many options that pop up. This one looks good. Now I'll duplicate it so it covers the entire nameplate. Now I'm going to select them all by holding down shift and then making them a group. So now they're seen as one image. Now right hand click, select layer and send to back. Okay, I am loving how this is turning out already. So now I wanna add a white rectangle for where their name is going to go. So let's go back to the shape tool. This time instead of transparent, I'm going to use white. And now to add their names. So to do this, you're just going to click text over here on the sidebar add a heading, and now there are so many fun fonts to choose from. I'm going to first just resize my name here to give me a better idea. And because I wanna have that bubble look so students can color in their name, I'm going to click effects and select hollow. Now I'll go over to the fonts and just really click through until I find one that I like. You can also search for a font or search by the style. I really like how this one looks and it's nice and thick for students to color and decorate. Now, because I would be making a class set, you can just click this little duplicate page icon and then retype each of your students' names and you're done. And there you go, that is a simple name tag and super easy to customize to make your own. So now that you know the basics, we're going to take it up a notch to the medium level name tag. And for this one, I'm really going to use the same template. So the dimensions will be 11 by three and a half inches. So looking ahead, this time the name tag is going to have a place for you to actually write your students' names an alphabet, a number line, the colors, and these little graphics to help your students remember the difference between right and left. So let's start with making a dotted line for their name. To do this, I'm going to go to elements and click shapes. This is going to take you to different types of lines also. So you're going to need the solid line and the dotted line. Now, as I make this design, I'll probably be adjusting the location of the elements as I go, but let's start with these two lines and I'll make it a little bit longer, there we go, and then duplicate it so that they're the same size. That looks good. Now to add the dotted line and place it right in the middle. Now because I wanna add an alphabet to their name tag, I really wanna make sure that whatever font I choose, the letters are written how I want my students to write their letters. Some letters to always keep an eye out when checking fonts are those A's and G's. Yeah, see how this font, the A's are like that fancy A? 
but I found the best font that is perfect. You're going to love it. It has the right capital I with the arms and everything. It is called KG Primary Penmanship L. So look how awesome that is. It has the dotted lines and everything. Now, if you don't want the lines there and only the letters instead, then there is KG Primary Penmanship with just the letters. So let's just go ahead and add that. Look, I love it. Okay, now to add the number line. So I'm going to go back to the lines and click the solid lines. I'll add a circle for the shape tool and fill it in with a color. Resize it to be super small. You could always zoom in to make it easier to move those really small elements. And I want my number line to go to 20. So I'm going to duplicate the circle so there are 20 of them. Just going to click Command D to do that. Then select them all and the line. Right click and there is a tool that pops up that says space evenly and click tidy up. And there you go. How cool is that? They're automatically spaced out evenly. I'll click group so I don't accidentally move them now. And then add the numbers. Now I'm going to use my new favorite font again because I'm sure if I love the letters, the numbers will look good too. And yep, they are student friendly numbers. I always check the number nine to make sure that it's not too loopy. So now I'm just going to type out those numbers, use the tidy up tool again to make sure they are all spaced out nicely. All right, looks great. Now to add the colors. So I'm going to use the shape tool for the rounded rectangle, just because I like that shape. Now some other ideas could be to include shapes like square, triangle, hexagon, because they really do have all the shapes. So maybe if that's something you're working with your students, you can add that instead. For now, I'm just going to put the colors. Now I do need nine of them. So I'm going to select each one, find the color I want, and I'm going to use the solid color options they have already. We could also add a new custom color with search or hex codes if there's a specific shade that you're looking for. Now I'll use the text tool and type out the color names. And there we go. One last step, Canva has so many graphics, you really can search for anything. So I'm going to search hand, find one that I like. This one looks good. I'm going to rotate it, change the color. Now when I duplicate it, I'm also going to click flip horizontal and add their labels and we're done. There you have it. I love this design because if you keep your name tags out on your students' desks all year, this becomes a really helpful tool for them. I even like laminating it, writing their name in Sharpie, and then you can use Expo markers for the name tag to actually use those tools. Like maybe go in the alphabet, circle the vowels, or hop along the number line if they need to use it as a math tool. Okay, now that we've done simple and medium, you are ready for the complex level name tag. I will probably move a little quicker through some of the tools that I've already shown you. So if there's a tool that you're not quite sure, or I went too fast, you can go ahead and go back to simple or medium where I walk you through a little slower. So this name tag is going to use some of the elements from the medium level. So I'm still going to keep an alphabet, a number line, a place for their name, but I'm also going to add some math tools that would be helpful for those upper grades. So I am thinking grades three through six and really thinking about what tools I want to add to help them out. Now I'm going to delete the rest of the elements that I don't need. Now this is complex so probably would be used for slightly older students. I'm thinking grades three through six and I'm going to change the look of the alphabet and get rid of the dotted lines. I'm going to add a solid color behind the alphabet to make it stand out a bit more using the rectangular shape tool. I'll adjust the transparency until I like it. All right, that looks good. Now for this name tag, I really want to think about what tools do I want my students to have access to. So I'm going to think what are the main concepts I teach in each grade level. So for third grade, multiplication, fourth grade fractions, fifth grade decimals. As a third grade teacher, I know I want my students to really build their multiplication fluency and they're introduced to fractions. So I'm going to include a multiplication chart, a fraction visual, and let's throw in some place value. Now, because I am including so many things, I will need to make the area to write their name a bit more narrow. So I will adjust that. The first thing I'm going to add is the multiplication chart. I'm going to open a new tab and go back to my Canva homepage and I'm going to search multiplication chart. So this is another part of Canva to absolutely love because there are already so many templates and resources that have been created for teachers by other educators. So to save me time, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. And even if it is like a desktop wallpaper or a worksheet, I'm really just looking for the visual that I want. This one looks good. 
Now I'm going to click Customize Template. Now I only want to do multiplication facts 1 through 10, so I'll select that and copy it. Paste it over onto my name tag. I can adjust the size. You can also change all the colors and customize it completely if you're not into this rainbow pastel look. Because I'm going for turquoise, I'll just make it all turquoise for now. Now I want to add some fractions over here on the right. So you could make your own with the shape tool, but again, I am all about saving time. So I'm going to go back and search fractions. I'll find a visual that I like, copy, paste it. And I don't want to include all the way up to the 12th. It also is just getting really crowded here on the name tag. So I'm going to delete what I don't need. And I can also change the colors if I want to. We'll stick with my blue and turquoise look here. Let's move the name down because now I want to add place value right here. All right, so I'm going to add some lines for the marks, a comma, and then use the text tool to add some numbers. Now I want to use the shape tool to label the place value for each digit. I like this little parallelogram shape, so I'll place that under each line. Make sure they are all the same color, or you could do different colors if you're making a rainbow name tag here. Use the text box, rotate the text. All right, we're pretty much done. I'm going to make just some other little size readjustments as needed, maybe play around with some colors, but there you have it. You just completed the final level of complex name tags. Now you can definitely add any tools that you think will be helpful for your students to use. I know I showed a lot of math tools, but you could also tie it in with grammar and language, maybe add some punctuation reminders, or put a clock to support telling time. So really customize it to fit your students' needs. I do hope you found this video helpful. Canva for Education is such a great resource. There are really so many things you can do for your classroom. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for all my newest teacher tips. And I'll catch you next time. Bye friends.